It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Bears and the Silver and Black. All that and more coming up next. And off we go from Las Vegas. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. And they are led out there by their mobile quarterback. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. Off play action, Daniels gets it downfield to Mayer. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Give him 30 yards there. That's some early fireworks on the first play from scrimmage. The last fireworks I saw, July 4th, okay? Here they are celebrating the start of this game the exact same way. Explosive right out of the gate. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. First carry for Josh Jacobs. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the 47 now, they work with a second and seven. Off the play fake. Daniels, slide, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Call it a loss of five, a big sack to bring up third down. Chalk that one up to bad acting, I guess, because they certainly failed to sell the handoff, and the pressure stayed keyed in on the quarterback. No Oscar awards for this offense, just a loss of yardage. Throwing on third and long, Daniels. Over the middle, complete. That's Jacobs. And they will get this across midfield, but still well short of the first as he's dropped at the 46. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure, and he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10. Just shy of the 30. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Well, give him credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stuff the run and then execute it. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second down and nine. Operating from the gun, Fields. That'll be caught, it's Scott. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Herbert powering up the middle. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. 
Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. From the 50, here's Fields. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 40. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. And off right side for Herbert. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. That's a nice job there, foiling what all offenses try to do, which is control the defensive end in the running game. They want to get to the outside, and if he keeps himself free, stays on his feet, he can make a play just as he did there. Second down, they go back to Herbert. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. That's how you get right up off of the map because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. Fields on first down. Dropping this underneath with Herbert. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. On first down, it's Fields. This will be caught at about the six. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. Give him two yards, that sets him up first and goal. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. First and goal at the one. Operating from the gun, Fields to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Another shot from the one on second and goal. In motion right is the running back. On second down, here's Fields. That's to Moore, and he's got it. Touchdown, Bears. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Bears are on the board first here in Vegas. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Santos with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. A pretty long drive that time, 11 plays all told. And it concludes with a touchdown reception by D.J. Moore. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. 
A last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Throwing on first down, Daniels. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, backdoor them, and that time worked well for a solid gain. To throw on second down, Daniels. It's caught here by Adams. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter from Vegas, the home standing Raiders with a football here. As they've got it with a first and 10. Jacobs going to try the middle. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Delay of game. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Still first down. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game, first and 15. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Off play action. Daniels. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. From the gun on third down, Daniels flushed out right, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. Oh, partner, you know what I'm going to say before I even say it. Yeah, you just cannot take a sack in that spot. You're exactly right. You can't take a sack in that spot. Potentially now a three-point swing right there. And he's going to miss this one wide to the left from distance. It's no good, and this will stay at a seven-point game. And any time you see a kicker trot out to try one for 56 yards, you know everything's got to come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice, in meetings, talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. Now a first down throw, Fields. And a little floater there is incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways 
called his penalties. Now a second and ten. A handoff for Herbert. Oh, he shifts past him. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. But they run the option here on first and 10. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he collapsed down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. They'll fake the handoff. Now Fields. This one complete to Tunyon underneath. They'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Here's a give to Herbert. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders 14. 42 yards rushing for him now to this point. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. They'll run. It's Herbert. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Now Fields on third and goal. That's to Moore, and he's got it. Touchdown, Bears. A great play there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Bears have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? 
Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. The throw down the field caught by his running back. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A big play on the catch and run covering 34 yards. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield to head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball's right on the money and leads to a big play. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Two minutes to play first half. It's 14 to nothing. We remind you that coming up in two minutes time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. I haven't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles, and that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 12-yard line. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Operating from the gun, Daniels. This will be caught at about the six. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Looking to throw on second down. Daniels toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why. They look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Looking to throw. Daniels, and he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This just 32 yards officially from the right hash. The kick by Carlson is good, and they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to three. So Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So three drives, three points, obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. Yeah. 
So we have reached halftime here in an 11 point contest. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment, but welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports. Ready for the second half. 14 to 3 our scores. We are back underway on EA Sports. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And the Bears offense set to go to begin the third quarter. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. And they'll begin by running the option. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. Fields now to throw. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, it's too early to figure out what kind of adjustments this defense made at halftime, but that's a good start to the second half. They cannot afford to give up more points and fall further behind, so well done to force the punting situation here. Here comes the Bears punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Here comes Carter. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Raiders will take over now first and 10. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again, Daniels. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Five yards, now it's third and five. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. From the gun on third down, Daniels. And that's complete to Adams. And he is going to have the Raiders first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. 
because on the catch, you could actually be pushed back before the first down. It's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Back to throw again. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson, and the Bears are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. Well, this is something we've seen before, partner. We've seen a defense bait a rookie, pretend to leave a window open, and then the defensive back jumped it as soon as the ball was released. Big-time play. They love taking advantage of the youngsters, and in this case, it paid off well. The Chicago offense set to get started. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's more. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. From the 43, here's a second and five. Here's Fields. That pass complete to Moore. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now Fields. And that's going to be incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. To throw his fields. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. They gave him the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Fields throwing again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 13-yard line. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball. How much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Back to throw, Fields over the middle, and that's caught by Komet. It'll be a gain of five, and that will bring up second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second and five from the eight. Now Herbert. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. 
Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Fields on third down. That's to Moore, and he's got it. Touchdown, Bears. Four yards on the touchdown grab as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Santos with the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it concludes with a touchdown reception by D.J. Moore. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw, and his throw is incomplete. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. Third quarter from Southern Nevada. Here's a second and 10. Back to throw. Daniels. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Try to run for it with Jacobs. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. Here's A.J. Cole now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. You're three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. Second down and a yard. It's Bears football here. They also have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. And this shot downfield on second down is brought in. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That one covers 29 yards. First down. 
They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. They'll run here with Herbert, and he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Another carry for Herbert on second down. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. On third down, Herbert. He juked him. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Only a yard that time, second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Now it's Fields off the bootleg. Flush to his right, and he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Kari Blossom game. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Bears are able to stretch out their lead. Well, nothing complicated about that. That's old-school power football. And effective. And that's the key to everything, right? Sometimes we try and do too many things. Just hand it to the big guy and let him go forward. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and they open the lead up now to 25. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels, he finds his man complete. It's Adams. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants them to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay right where it is. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 
Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. On first down, Daniels throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll look to throw again. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. The offense on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. Blitz coming, and down he goes. That sack by Tremaine Edmonds. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hadn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He okay. needs better protection, that's for sure. He'll let this go for Adams. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Adams. 48 yards. And the Raiders are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Obviously, the scoreboard right now is not the friend of this rookie quarterback. But, hey, a touchdown pass there maybe builds a little confidence. Every rep is valuable when you're a rookie. Every time you step up and throw the football, there's a lesson to be learned. Yeah, he took advantage of a little bit of loose coverage there with the lead. But at the same time, got it done. It'll take a little bit of satisfaction away from that throw. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 49. Starting on the ground with Herbert. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Nate Hobbs there to bring him down. Good gain there on first down. That keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. He ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. 90 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, 
those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. Herbert once more. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. The heavy set out there, three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They'll run with Herbert. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second and six. So it's the Bears who come away with a victory, and that's thanks largely to the play of their quarterback, Justin Fields, CD. Yeah, you had to like what you saw. He was on point the whole game. Wound up going over 300 yards with three touchdown passes. That will definitely get the job done. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Las Vegas.